as Kenna Tortoise Capital. I forgot to hit the record button on the podcast tonight, so I'm going to record an executive summary of it. Let me just hit the highlights. I uh, want to point out I posted on Patreon this link to a short tutorial uh, produced by TC2000. Version 20 has a replay function that is very powerful. It will meet all of your simulator and forward trading uh, practice needs. I mean, absolutely brilliant. Easy to use. Um, you'll see how to do it in a cut, just a couple minutes. If you don't have TC2000, that feature alone is probably worth um, just the investment in the in their platform. I, I think it's amazing. Um, you, you don't have to have the uh, our bundle to do that. Just it comes built in, so it's pretty cool. Um, this was the blank. Uh, case study for tonight and the the top uh, insights that came out of this one uh, today included um, this was a super pinch uh, it was a 20 cent risk box all four regression lines are inside of it and everything was sideways uh, and then we observed the the increasing volatility each oscillation getting bigger and bigger and so one two and three were places where the supported spring crossing occurred but Notice that the harshness of the winter predicts or supports the kind of countervailing move, and then a bigger one, and double size, and then triple size. When this price region of the original super pinch broke, this thing ran up to 64.60 uh, in the last uh, in the last hour of the day to close extraordinarily well. Um, so no, then notice the expanding envelope of the um, Z3 lines and how that just kind of expands and notice the power of the PSAR flip to really establish that turning point and to act as a really reasonable stop. We then took a look at that box in the larger uh, context and said so that box was this box here and that was really the one, two, three waves down in the big move up. but. There was also this uh, Z3 pinch. It wasn't a super pinch because the RL270 was outside. It had come back into that pinch box by here. But even so, Z3P gives you a really nice move on the breakout and the opportunity to re-enter it. This got you out with a scratch. Then this was a re-entry, and you made bank. Um, this one offered two uh, harsh winters, winter, spring, winter, and then back into the spring, um, and then, you know, cash, and then re-enter after another winter and spring that takes you into the position here. Standard hybrid frog gets you that entire move. Notice the each of the black boxes represents an important turning point or a critical state where volatility compresses. Two of these occur inside a sideways quiet channel pinch. The lack of motion is what makes it so interesting. But these two are based on um, the large move having already happened, so we could probably draw another box around this one if we wanted to and say, look, we are interested in abnormal uh, conditions, turning points, critical states, after big moves or in the absence of big moves. So you get the pinch and stretch abnormalities, which is what attracts us to the potentials of the move. You know it's in play when it's just had a great big move. So the follow-through is still there because the emotion's already baked in. There's an implied emotional move being built in under pressure when it releases, bang, there it goes. This was that trade in Udow at the end of the day, the last um, supported spring crossing. Again, you notice the small winter, small spring follow-through, bigger winter, bigger spring follow-through. This one turned to summer at the VWAP. And then you get surprised into this move, and now with 10 minutes left, and now only 5 minutes, price here at 64.11, what do you do? This ended up closing up around 64.50, but this was a nice problem to have. We started this as an intraday, kept 20%, um, and made bank. You know, while we're watching this, we just locked in the gain, and then right around here just said that was enough. It then gave us another 50 cents for the swing, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that. The stop on the swing trade uh, is a dollar. And so that would be down here below this this move. So if it gaps down below here, we're out. Otherwise, we'll just manage the trade tomorrow. Uh, we we took a look at the winners and losers in the usual way. Um, this we we noticed that this move at the end uh, was really crucial. 
new 10-day high, new 30-day high. The 10-period regression line is strong. Price closed right on it. Uh, it's cleared all resistance. Z3 excursion here and the previous Z3 excursion are the two uh, breakout points. 310 was important on a weekly, so if it just gets a little bit, off it goes. And it's and today it went into uh, bullish normal from sideways normal, so I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see him release the hounds tomorrow. All of the three um, trend extensions are still looking favorable. You know, you have the RL30 extension, the Dragon Spine extension, and then the PSAR extension here, all good. Standard price ladder on the way down. We're well into the summer. Um, this week is starting off well. Last week was a good four-day week that was a step up after a consolidation week with very narrow range. So this is voting up. That's what it looks like. Notice how price and the regression line are tracking the Z2 line the whole way up. The Dragon providing support right along the Z1 line. And that's what a bull market looks like. Gave some feedback uh, to John in the room. Um, I want him to uh, get used to putting these um, pivot points or these um, turning points here right in the elbow of the Dragon on the inside. So when he slithers over and then down, you can just feel them oscillating and rolling. And now you get the RLXD and the supported spring crossing entries here at these blue dots. So notice here it doesn't until you get the PSAR flip, then bang. Now you get this move, you use the PSAR as the stop, you're out here. Now you can even be short here, and then a second position, and then covering here after the Z3 excursion and bouncing back. And then now you have the PSAR flip, has become the spring. There's the supported spring crossing. Here's a second position or a re-entry. If this got you out, then that gets you back in, and then off you go. So you want to be aligned in the direction of the uh, of the seasons. So you got spring to summer. You want to be long. You have fall to winter. Uh, short side is indicated. Spring to summer. That's when you want to be uh, favoring the long side. And then finally, just some uh, great advice. I'll let you stop and read that. But from the um, Self-actualized uh, uh, trading consortium, the little mastermind of four to six folks from Europe and Asia there in our in our um, uh, base camp that are working together and going through all of these steps for accountability, and they are really developing the rules that fit themselves using my ideas as a template, but really cutting it to fit and coming up with their own bespoke solution their own tailor-made solution, and then the accountability and social networking is very important for their depth of understanding, critical thinking, emotional resilience, all of those things, um, and you learn best by teaching. So our triple, our SSC challenge week in Campfire was this. You said, stop what you're doing, just do one thing a day. Trade the supported spring crossing on one-minute charts on either DIA or EWZ or both. And post your end-of-day chart with the markups in that special room just for that in Campfire. And then look at the other charts of people that are also taking that challenge. Keep a learning journal for questions and answers and collaboration. Inspect the other charts. And then do something useful with the information and see what happens to your learning when you take that structured approach to mastering one thing and then comparing that to your peer group. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'll tell you what happens once we get through it. So that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, back to work. We're going to be ready for um, bull normal expansions with that very strong vote um, uh, right into the close. We'll be ready for hybrid frogs in either direction in the morning as this vulnerable bull normal starts taking off. And maybe we got another raccoon in the backyard. Dogs are signaling, so time to go check them out. Take good care. Keep your wrist measured and your powder dry.